Hello there. I thought today I would take a look at some of the new old stock still sealed audio cassettes in my collection. We're going to start with the not so interesting ones and we're going to work our way up to the more interesting ones. The first one is this, the good old TDK SA. This once was a special offer, one euro. You would find it very difficult to find them for this cheap today. Now, I do have quite a few of these still around. And the interesting thing is, this is not the final version. In 2007, TDK sold their recording media business to Emation. And to differentiate the Emation TDK from the original TDK that kept on producing specialist electronic components, they added the slogan, Life on Record. So the final version, which otherwisely looked identical to this one, had TDK Life on Record printed on. Well, this one doesn't have that slogan, so this was made before 2007. Now, the TDK SA was the last of the old famous Type 2 cassettes that was still being sold. It disappeared from the market in around 2011, and the license agreement between TDK and Emation lasted until 2015. Next, I have this, the BASF Ferro Extra 1. This followed a naming scheme that the BASF introduced in the late 80s that went Ferro Extra 1, Ferro Super 1, Ferro Maxima 1, and then Chrome Extra 2, Chrome Super 2, and Chrome Maxima. The odd one out was the metal cassette that was always Metal Maxima. The BASF retained this naming scheme all throughout the 90s. Some of the names were shortened, some of the versions were dropped, but this was the basic idea. This particular version that we're looking at was made until 1994. So this has lasted in its original wrapper since the early 90s. A bit more interesting than this rather basic clear case cassette is the next one. This is the BASF Chrome Super Quality 2. Now this was made in the late 90s, but you'll notice it does not follow the naming scheme that I just described, Chrome Super Quality 2. Well, this was a special version that the BASF produced for sale in discount stores. I think this one was purchased at Lidl. And by putting a different name onto one of their cassettes, they could sell it at a cheaper price than the usual ones. So this Chrome Super Quality 2 is basically exactly the same as a Chrome Super 2. The other interesting thing about this cassette is this, BASF by MTech. What's up with that? Well, in 1997, the BASF spun off their magnetics division into an independent business, and that was called MTech. Now, there was a fairly long transitional period where MTech was still allowed to use the BASF brand name. This transitional period lasted from 1997 until 2002, and throughout that period, the MTech branding got larger and larger. At first, it said BASF by MTech. Then it was a rather strange 50-50 split where 
on the top it said BASF and on the bottom it said MTech. And then finally, it was MTech. Unfortunately, MTech did not last long. Of course, the market was changing and already in 2003 they went bankrupt. So this Chrome Super Quality 2 was produced fairly early on during that transitional period in the late 1990s. And as I promised, the final cassette that I'd like to take a look at is the most special one. This is a TDK SAX. This version was produced in 1986 and 1987, so it's a mid to late 1980s version. I do quite like this design with this uh, fancy golden frame. This is certainly a lot better than the previous mid 1980s versions. And this is the SAX. And that is a dual layer of Super Evelyn particles providing exceptionally clear reproduction. Well, the idea is that this is a dual layer tape. At first, a layer of magnetic particles is deposited onto the tape that is optimized for the reproduction of low frequencies. And then on top of that, another layer of magnetic particles is deposited that is optimized for high frequencies. This is basically a continuation of the idea behind ferrochrome cassettes or ferrochrome tape, except both layers were made from a chrome substitute. Of course, the TDK SA never used real chrome particles. It was always the chrome substitute that TDK developed. SA stands for just that, Super Evelyn. So there it is. Of course, the chrome substitute particles tended to be more sensitive in the higher frequencies, and this is actually reflected in this frequency response graph. Chrome would have been a lot more flat than this. But the Japanese cassette decks all took this uh, bump in the frequency response into consideration. They were aligned to compensate for this. So that always resulted in a bit of a mismatch between Japanese cassette decks and real chrome cassettes or real chrome tape. But that is a topic for a whole other video, which I'm not going to make today. For today, that's it. Thank you for watching.